Hey everybody, Jack here. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded any videos in a while, and I kind of gave up on my Ninjago stuff. So, I th Hang on. <laughs> I thought I... <sighs> Dang it. I thought I'd talk about an old school superhero show. Now, there's been many talked about, but there's one people always overlook. Legion of Superheroes. I know some internet reviewers would use visuals, but I'm going to describe it to you. Legion of Superheroes, if you didn't know, was based on a comic book by the same name. It revolved a group of future teenage superheroes doing, well, fighting evil. Now, the people that had at Warner Brothers Animation quickly put together that this could be turned into a show, but how to adapt it? Young Superman. I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's gonna be like Smallville. Oh, it's gonna be so horrible. False. If you haven't seen the show, go to sh go to Kiss Car KimCartoon.com and watch it. I it will not disappoint. So, what's the basis? Well, a young teen. Well, let's look at season one first. A young teenage, a young Clark Kent goes is recruited by Sonic Girl, Brainiac Five, and Bouncy Boy to join the Legion of Superheroes, so he can further learn about his powers and be a a better equipped crime fighter in the future. But you're going like, but I know what you're thinking. But Jack, what about the time stream? Well. They use these things called time bubbles. Laugh at that as you will, but by but by putting Clark Kent having Brainiac Five putting Clark Kent back to the exact moment when he left, the time stream is preserved. Yeah, you figure out how that works. I still haven't. So anyway, um if I Listed all the members of the legions of Legion of Superheroes, we be here forever. So I'm just going to, going to go over the key characters for for the show. There's Saturn Girl, who's psychic, Lightning Lad, who, like its name implies, can control lightning, Brainiac Five, who is who was one of the descendants of the original Brainiac, but has decided to go good. Bouncy Boy, who's able to transform himself into a rubber ball. Triplicate Girl, who's able to transform herself in herself into three into three exact copies. Let's see, who else am I forgetting? Oh, Timberwolf. Yeah, he was basically a, his own father's science project, and now he has the, all the abilities of a mutated wolf. Yeah, you figure out how that works. Future science is weird. Now, am I forgetting anybody? Hmm. Oh, yes. Young Clark Kent. Yeah, basically, it's as funny as you can get. But, yeah, let's go to season two. Um, basically, we have all these Legion of Superhero members have grown up. Um, we got some new members like Shrieking Violet, and yes, it's Shrieking, not Shrinking. Yeah, I've made that mistake poor too. Chameleon Boy, who's basically an alien version of Beast Boy, but instead of his, instead of turning green, he just turns into different things. Then there's Superman X, who was designed to protect, and if I'm remembering this correctly, the 40... Second century. The event was the 40, 41st. I don't know. Basically, he was cloned from the DNA of the original Superman long after he died. And he has very little of his weaknesses. And what's interesting about this is that this Superman isn't weak against Kryptonite. In fact, it makes him stronger. I'll repeat that again. If anybody needs a chance. Kryptonite does not weaken him. It makes him stronger. St 
stronger. Everybody good? Good, because I'm not repeating that again. Then we got then we got the classic characters. Phantom Girl, Timberwolf, Bouncy Boy, Brainiac 5, Triple Kick Girl. Okay, yeah, I need to address an elephant in the room. For some reason, they decide to kill off one of the triplicates in Triplicate Girl. Ooh. Ooh. Which is, and it's the white duplicate. Okay, I need to address the second elephant in the room before I can continue with the first one. Triplicate Girl triplicates have different color hair and clothing. So when I say white triplicate girl, this one ha is, has white hair, white clothing, all that stuff. And then there's an orange and purple one. And now let's go back to addressing the first elephant in the room. So when triplicate girl's first triplicate technically died, she renamed herself Duplicate Damsel. And also, all the other Legion members, aside from Phantom Girl, Brainiac 5, and Bouncy Boy, they were all hospitalized when... Dang it, now I gotta address the third elephant in the room. I'm not sure if I'm even using this right anymore. Okay, so the reason Superman X was created in, was ordered to defend the 41st century from this evil tyrant called Imperiax, but he escaped to the 31st century... And destroyed the Legion headquarters, which, well, ended up hurting them. A lot of them. Okay, so they go back, get a more experienced Superman. Then after all this and that, Imperius is killed by the original Brainiac, who takes over his Brainy's programming. Which Superman and Superman X have to come together... In order to defeat him, which turns Brainiac 5 human, and he leaves the Legion in order to figure out motions, while, Bra while Superman X returns to the f 41st century and, and technically joins the Legion, and, and, the, and the white triplicate of Triplica Girl comes back, hence restoring her original name, and, Brainiac, and the program Brainiac. Brainiac 1 combines with all the uh, combines with the parts of Brainiac 6 to uh, Brainiac 5 to form Brainiac 6. Yeah, I'm not repeating any of that. Now, what's weird is that they have this pledge. I shall I shall paraphrase. <clears throat> to the Legion of Superheroes, I make this solemn pre pledge to aim my fellow superheroes in times of peril and to keep their secrets safe. I choose a well, I choose a new name to honor the superheroes of the past. Then you say your name and then you then you get the special belt and Legion flight ring. And then you wrist your face up and everybody says long live the Legion. So is this series good? Well, that depends on your opinion. If you're if you're in for more goofy comedic antics, Combined with good cry fighting and suspense, then season one's for you. If you're more of an intense thing with person with a lot more with different types of well action, adventure, and nail binding drama, as well as some deep philosophical chucks, then season two is for you. Personally, both have their ups and downs, but if you guys have seen the show or plan on seeing it, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is Jack Keller signing off and and saying, long live the Legion. See ya.